Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I am back out at Heroes Park today. It is a blue sky day today. It's real cold, but there's very little wind. Uh, and I've got the uh, Potensic Atom with me again. So, in that last video that I did, uh, we saw that there were some connection issues with this drone. And uh, I had some really good comments in the comments section uh, of that video of people explaining some of the things that could be going on. So I'm talking to you right now with my uh, GoPro Hero 9. The Hero 9 is connected via Wi-Fi to my phone. Uh, and I'm going to uh, leave it that way so that we duplicate the same situation as what we had with that last flight. Uh, I had one commenter said that he has had situations when he was running his GoPro that it interfered with the signal of the Atom drone. Same problem I had with the DJI mic system. When I was uh, using the uh, transmitter and receiver with the DJI mic system, it interfered with the, uh, with the signal to the drone and had problems. So what we're going to do here today is uh, we're going to uh, uh, take off and uh, we're going to try it just like this, just like we did last time, and we're going to see if it affects our, uh, our, how we, the signal to the drone, if we have FPV issues, signal issues, uh, etc., like I had the other day. And then I will shut down the GoPro and, uh, and we'll see if that, uh, and, and I'll make sure that I disable the, uh, the GoPro Quick app in my phone so we make sure that there's no trying to connect, no interference uh, of any kind, uh, and we'll see uh, if that helps the connection with the drone. There's another issue with regard to return to home. If you watched that video, I had some really good comments there. Uh, I haven't looked yet, but we're going to look at the app, into the app, and we're going to see if we can solve that as well. Uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air and see if we can figure this out. Okie dokie. So I got to remember my audio is all coming in here on the uh, GoPro uh, microphone. So uh, I've got the media mod with the GoPro shotgun mic on there. Uh, but it looks like we're ready to go. Takeoff is permitted. Let's take a quick look in the safety menu here. Uh, and uh, we've got uh, speed settings on normal signal loss to return. Now, my understanding is I can click on right below that, that little arrow. And yeah, when signal loss, uh, the, the drone ascends to 400 feet. So uh, evidently... <laughs> That's something that it does upon signal loss. Uh, so that's just a feature of the drone, that it's gonna go up to 120 meters high. I don't like that. Uh, I think it's, it's wasteful of battery. Uh, I don't see any way to adjust that. Maybe there's an invent, oh, I can uncheck it. Look at that. Okay, so I unchecked that. There we go. And so uh, on signal loss now, it should just return go up to our return to home height so that's good to know i wouldn't have known that uh, if if uh, if one of my a uh, couple of my commenters hadn't mentioned that so good to know now you can see we do have the return to home height set at 35 meters so that's great and uh 117 meters is what i've got max uh, height at and infinity on the distance so we'll try it we'll try that loss of signal and we'll see if we can purposely uh, get loss of signal and uh, and see if it'll just go to that 35 meters. So we'll check that out, out as well. But of course, first we need to see uh, if we have a good uh, uh, a good connection here. And uh, yeah, no reason not to take off. I'm going to start recording. I'm going to uh, do that on the controller. So we've started recording. We're shooting in 4K 30. Let's do uh, let's do an automated takeoff here, and we're going to confirm. Whoops. Yeah, that's just confirming that we know the battery's in. There's the swipe, and there's the automated takeoff. Uh, and you know what? This drone, it does, uh, it recorded its home point. It told us there. That's a good thing. And, and you know, we've got a good, uh, good nice, uh, uh, stable takeoff here. And we're facing towards the sun. That's why I'm kind of silhouetted. silhouetted. But, uh, but let's do a droney uh, reverse and up. 
and let's uh, and let's take a look at our. Uh, we're going to pay attention to our uh, signal here. As I recall, the last time I was out here, I got up not, out not terribly far, and I started. Yeah, I'm already seeing a little bit of catch up on FPV there, just very slight. But let's fall. Let's just fly it around and just see how it does. Yeah, it's locked up right now. Yeah, there it caught up again. Okay, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to see if I can turn the drone. So I'm turning the drone, but I am not. Yeah, 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 there it's. You can see it's breaking up, right? I mean, you saw there when I tried to control the yaw. Yeah, we've got breakup on FPV, and we are only how far away? Uh, yeah, and I'm clear over the houses here. We were only about a little over 250 meters away. Let's fly. Yeah, now I'm trying to move it sideways, and it's. Uh, yeah, so we can definitely say that there are the control issues uh, continue here, particularly in FPV. I'm full stick forward and I'm locked up. Uh, yeah, so that's not good. Uh, let's uh, let's turn it around and and uh, and fly it back here. And I'm going to do a couple of things. Yeah, let's just let's. I'm, I want I want to try and recreate. Uh, what I did with the drone the other day. Let's see if we can uh, head out across the uh, the street here and go out over the farmer's field and uh, and see. I you know it's it, it's actually picked up and there's the drone right in front of me. It's right in front of me now, moving along at 10 meters per second. But yeah, it's already starting to uh, break up as I head out. Uh, uh, across the street and as I recall I didn't get very far across the street there and it uh, it started to break up yeah and it, it's in and out right now you can see on the FPV screen I'll have that down in the corner we have a fairly crooked horizon here too for whatever reason I don't know if that's related at all but that's not a good thing either and it's completely locked up right now okay Let's turn around and see if I can regain. If I regain, yeah, it went into return to home. Oh, that's good. So that'll prove our uh, loss of signal return to home. And it's going to, it should, uh, yeah, and there it's really breaking up. Yeah, but it's coming back at that 35 meters. Okay, that's a good thing. So we've proved that that works. Uncheck that box on uh, return to home down there. I would never have known that. That's hidden down there. Uh, so thank you to uh, to the commenters who pointed that out to me. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so it is uh, yeah at 35 meters high. So and I stopped recording for I accidentally hit that button, but we'll uh, let's just let it land, and then I'm going to shut off the uh, the GoPro. And uh, so once I shut off the GoPro. You're not going to have, we're not going to have any B-roll or any video of the drone other than the drone itself. And look at that, it's coming down pretty close, so we'll let it, we'll let it land here. It's going to be a little bit off, but the grass is pretty short here, so it's going to be really close to the pad. I'm picking up that, uh, the camera here. Oh, it's going to be partially on the pad that's me picking up the camera it really literally only has one leg off the pad so uh, okay here's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna shut turn turn off the drone uh, I'm just gonna put it back on the uh, on the pad there uh, but I am gonna shut off the GoPro and then you're just gonna have audio from my screen recording so if there's any wind there might be some wind noise so uh, take that into uh, account uh, and I'm also going to make sure I shut down the the GoPro quick app on my phone so we make sure that there's no other signal so uh, yeah let me shut down the GoPro I'll be right back with you okay so I started recording again uh, uh, with the with the drone started a video recording uh, and uh, when we're doing a screen recording here uh, and in fact Wow, I already saw a little uh, breakup on FPV there sitting on the ground. Uh, anyway, let me uh, let me make sure that screen recording is going, and it is connected. So we're back into the app, and uh, and let's go ahead and uh, and take off here. We'll do another automated takeoff, and we'll see if we still have. 
So, Home so, point so refreshed. I have no cameras on. I have no Wi-Fi on. I have uh, nothing that should interfere with the drone. Now, I can say this: my phone uh, is not in airplane mode or anything like that. Uh, but we can even try that if if we find out we still have issues here. So, so let's go ahead and do our droney and head back out over and see uh, see what we get for. Uh, See if we have any uh, issues with FPV. Yeah, I saw a little bit there, so. Uh, but you know, nothing, uh, nothing too dramatic yet. Yeah, it's uh, it's locked up again. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think that is our problem. Uh, it is, it is completely frozen. Yeah. And then it caught up there, as you can see, uh, just looking at the FPV screen. Then I'm trying to yaw, and yeah, uh, it's it's fro yeah. So there it reappears. Yeah, you just can't fly a drone like this uh, if you can't see which way the drone is pointed. It, you just can't Please do it. Please connect the drone. Uh, Connected. Yeah. So now, yeah, I almost lost. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. If we're still recording or not, I had a glitch on the app. So guys, I don't even know. Oh yeah, we're still recording, I guess. Yeah, the app kind of glitched the out drone. there. I'm trying to move the drone Returning. sideways. Yeah, if anything, it's it's worse than ever. Yeah, and it went back into return to home. Connected. So, uh, it clearly uh, is not the GoPro. <laughs> uh, so whatever the issue is is uh is something else completely so here's what i am going to do and you can see as it's coming home let's see if we can cancel that return to home wow okay i'm going to cancel return to home and i'm going to go into my phone i'm going to put my phone in airplane mode and in fact let's do it one better let's shut off wi-fi let's shut off bluetooth uh, and uh, so there should be really nothing on the phone now that is that that could potentially interfere Connected. with signal here. And let's see if that makes any difference at all. Yeah, no, if any, yeah, it's it's really glitching out. Okay, I'm going to see if I can bring, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to bring the drone back in. Let's just double check and make sure. Uh, that we uh, that we that we're doing everything like we should, and and I'm going to cycle everything. I'm going to cycle, uh, power cycle the drone, power cycle the controller, and uh, and we'll start uh, we'll start over here, bring it all in and uh, and land it. So uh, give me just a second, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, I've uh, power cycled everything and uh, switch to video. So starting video now, uh, and let's do, let's do another takeoff. My phone, everything, everything wireless is off on my phone. Uh, uh, cellular wireless, uh, Bluetooth is off, Wi-Fi is off. Uh, we power cycled everything. Uh, I don't know what other interference that could be. I don't have any other additional cameras on. Uh, we are doing a screen recording here so you guys can see this and get audio. Uh, but let's go ahead and do an automated takeoff. And there's refreshed. the drone. It says we've recorded the home point. Does a nice little takeoff, I'll give it that. Okay, so maybe third time's a charm here. Let's, uh, let's do our droney. Let's take the drone back and... Uh, yeah, it, it immediately, I'm, I'm immediately glitching on FPV. So, uh, whatever, uh, whatever problems uh, this drone has, uh, it, they're uh, they're they're definitely uh, beyond my control. I'll tell you that. So, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm. Oh man. I was going to try and go across the street, but <laughs> so I, I went, yeah, I went purposely went below our 
return to home altitude. And again, we've got a crooked horizon <laughs> again. Uh, so gee whiz, I don't know. And I'm holding the stick forward. For all I know, it's already across the street. My screen is frozen up completely. I, <laughs> uh, this is Returning. fascinating. And uh, yeah, okay. So then it just put itself into return to home. Should, uh, oh, it's right. <laughs> It's rising. So evidently that checkbox on emergency return to home, you're going to have to reset that every time you start the drone. Because look, it's going to that 120 meter uh, max altitude before it returns to home. And boy, is it glitching. <laughs> and we've got a viciously crooked horizon. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll save my comments till we bring this guy back and uh, land it. But... Uh, yeah, it's telling me that it's about to reach its maximum height. Yeah, yippee ki -yay. How about coming home? So, yeah, it's starting to come home here. And, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll shut up and, uh, and uh, we'll let this thing land. Hey, okay, so the drone is starting to land. And, uh, yeah, at least the, it's coming all the way down from 120 meters. So I guess that's a box you'll have to uncheck. Uh, every time you fire up the drone, but uh, it looks like the horizon at least partially straightened out here. So yeah, I'm trying to look on the bright side of things. So the drone is coming down. We'll just uh, we'll just let it land here. And again, I'm holding the flat part of the antenna straight up at the drone to give it the best possible chance at signal. Uh, and it's uh but anyway it's coming down and it's going to be close i'll say gps accuracy is pretty good on this it's going to be uh you know partially on the pad it's going to be well heck it's right on the h so it landed right on the pad uh well that's a good thing isn't it right so we're able to say something positive uh about the potentic atom i'm going to shut all this down and uh, and we'll do a quick conclusion hey okay the potentic uh atom uh you know, I'm not going to hide my disappointment. Uh, this drone has so much potential. Uh, it's priced right. It's got a great feature set. It's got a nice camera. Uh, you saw that the, you know, GPS wise, it had a, is, is very, very accurate. Uh, flight controls, I like to a degree, except for you saw the issues that I had with the control signal now. You know, in the past, blamed it on my uh, my DJI wireless mic that I didn't use at all today. Uh, and we've seen, uh, I had I'd people suggest that maybe it's my GoPro that I'm talking to right now. Well, I had the GoPro off while we were doing that flight. I made sure not only did I have the GoPro off, I had the Quick App disabled in my phone. I also then ultimately finally tried turning off every bit of wireless on my phone. So there was no other signals going out anywhere uh, that should have interfered with the control signal. Uh, and you saw we still had problems. And what that does is that the whole point of a GPS camera drone is, you know, you gotta be able to frame up a shot. You have to be able to see where you're flying. And if you can't do that, and if you can't get very far, and the drone loses connection and complete, completely and goes into return to home, yeah, it just uh, it just ruins the experience. And I've had good flights with this drone. You guys have seen in some of my other videos, I've had some pretty good flights. Uh, so just take it take it for what it's worth. Uh, it, the problem I have is if it's not consistent, if I can't count on the drone. Uh, you know, I you, you take the drone out and you think you're going to get a shot, and then all of a sudden you start having problems. Uh, it, that just doesn't work. Uh, this is probably the last time. What you witnessed today was probably the last time I'll ever fly this drone. Why would I fly it again, right? I mean, I don't. You know, if I can't count on it, if I can't get a good FPV feed and know that I can get the shot I want to get. Uh, so anyway, I'm sorry, Potensic. I had high hopes for this drone. I had hoped it would do better. Uh, what you guys are going to see in the future, I'm going to publish this video right away. I had already done some other videos showing uh, waypoints and the intelligent flight modes. 
I'll show you those videos at a later date so you'll see those and you'll see those flights went pretty good so uh, you know what the difference is I have no idea uh, again I did everything I could to shut off any other kind of uh, Wi-Fi interference uh, etc oh yeah one more thing is we also looked at the uh, max return to home altitude and that kind of uh, bit us again so you, you go in there where it says uh, upon RTH there's a little down arrow you click it then there's a check box there you uncheck that box and then when the drone goes into loss of signal return to home it will stay at the height you set uh, now when we power cycled the drone it automatically rechecked that box so the second time we flew it out it went all the way up to max legal before it came home I guess that's Potensic's way of keeping people from uh, flying their drone into a building or something I don't know but uh, it's annoying you should be able to uncheck it and leave it unchecked uh, so in any case uh, that's about it uh, I I'm sorry folks I hope you got some value out of this this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter channel out, and if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video, and of course, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.